This video offers an IRB approved deeper dive into the work of two students from the ETC course English 219. Students whose discussion board reflective content has been previously analyzed. This video shares screenshots of two students' final course portfolios. These portfolios were the submission modality for the students' major writing assignments, MWAs, a video instruction set, a graphics-rich analytical report, and a proposal with accompanying PSA. The two portfolios examined here are certainly not reflective of the level of consideration of the canon of memory across the entire pilot class, but rather figure as exemplars of the kind of connective reflective work made possible through the consistent and focused attention on memory and multimodality that defined the curriculum design. This is the landing page of one student's final course portfolio. While this video does not show the text in a way that is legible for viewers, what we hope viewers can recognize are the basic design features, the location of the reflective one minute video embedded on the landing page, this is the discussion board memory reflection discussed in separate accompanying video, and the location of the MWAs and slow reflections on the student's site. We will not be analyzing in this video the efficacy of the student's design decisions. Here we show an extract pulled from the student's landing page. While still difficult to view in video form, we want to emphasize the student's showcasing of their learning relative to memory, as conveyed self-consciously in static text on the website's landing page. The text on the screen reads, This video is a brief description of what the learning outcome memory means to me. Understanding memory and understanding this course has effectively improved my writing. Furthermore, my ability to write a proposal, analytical report, or other forms of technical writing has drastically improved. Memory has allowed for me to retain the feedback I receive and further improve my writing and projects. Memory involves reflecting and improving. Through analyzing my classmates' videos and discussions on memory, many of us share the same views. A majority of my classmates believed that memory was primarily done through our reflections and using our knowledge we have gained to make our next project better. One classmate even stated that by constantly analyzing our outcomes, quote, the five outcomes of this course are engraved in my memory, end quote. It is amazing to see how constantly analyzing these outcomes and improving our writing has made such an impact on our understanding of technical writing and the learning outcomes that surround it. Some key concepts in this student's reflection are a focus on memory impacted the student's capacity for retention of information. The student understood what memory involves, and it is not just remembering. For this student, it involved reflecting and improving. The student explicitly refers to their community of classmates and what their beliefs were. The student came to possess a knowledge of some foundational technical communication genres and outputs. The feedback cycle clearly informed the student's outlook on improving work over time by working with others. In the student's final portfolio websites, they also reflect on all three of the course slows relative to all three MWAs. While hard to read in this video format, the text on screen shown to viewers here just to offer a general sense of layout and extensiveness of comments reveals the student offering a robust paragraph relative to each MWA regarding the slow memory. From the blocks of text on the previous screen, we have extracted salient content to address here. The student offers this insight concerning memory relative to Project 1, the instructions video. The student writes, Project 1, I had a little trouble really incorporating the outcome of memory into my project, but now I can take away a lot from this project and use it in further projects and classes. Memory is about retaining information and making that information useful. Now, despite noting having struggles, the student recognizes how the skills inherent in the canon of memory, such as retaining information, make it useful, transferring to other contexts, and how it resonated nevertheless. Now, relative to Project 3, the proposal report with PSA, the student writes, It was also helpful for me to discuss memory in my last discussion post. I was able to recall what I had learned in past projects, just like I talked about in my discussion post, to make a successful project. Furthermore, I utilized memory the most in this project because I had to remember all the feedback I had received throughout the semester. Though this semester, I have now sufficiently learned how to make a video, a presentation, and a report. That being said, if I ever need to present information in the workplace, I will know how. 
Here, the student attends to a capacity for recalling learning derived from the feedback cycle. The student also connects this learning to technical communication and its specific genres, indicating the student's metacognitive transfer-oriented thinking to beyond the university scenarios. This is the landing page of another student's final portfolio. Views can be seen here, as with the prior example, of the student's embedded one-minute memory video reflection, as well as the text content beneath it, which was originally composed for the discussion board context and was covered in the video that accompanied this one in this web text. Again, we find the student's discussion board content included on this page telling. The student writes, Watching the videos posted by my peers expanded upon my own realizations and helped me appreciate the broad interpretations and underlying similarities of this learning outcome. Each student's video that I saw expressed the application of memory to either applying knowledge gained directly from this course or from previous courses. It seemed unanimous that the fundamental purpose of memory is to recall knowledge that can help solve a new or persistent problem. This student weaves a strand of consideration through various key concepts, how peer review and discussion fosters expanded skills relative to one's own work, how working with peers allows similarities to be noticeable, and how expanded senses of inhabiting a space of memory relate to recall and problem solving. As shown in the previous student's final portfolio website, this student also reflects on all of the course slows relative to all three MWAs. This student offers paragraphs less robust relative to each MWA regarding the slow memory as compared to the previous student. However, the student still fulfills the requirement to attend to the definition of the slow and apply the learning across all three major projects. From the blocks of text shown on the previous screen, we have extracted salient content to address here. The student offers this insight concerning memory relative to project one, the instructions video. Quote, in the first project, memory was an extremely important learning outcome I found myself using knowledge and experience from personal projects in order to make a top-notch multimedia instruction." End quote. We found it compelling that the student connected pre-class knowledge, personal projects, to the class activity and spoke to that connection. Regarding Project 2, the analytical report, the student wrote this regarding work with the slow of memory. I found this project to be especially important for me as an engineer because I will most likely be writing documents like this for the duration of my career. Although for this project I learned a lot about methodologies in the construction of an analytical report, I felt that most of the research knowledge I used was adopted from my engineering classes. With that being said, this does not discount the amazing practice I got while writing this report. So most important in this content is the student's conviction that skills that were possessed outside of and before this class, skills from the engineering field, applied in the technical communication class and were an asset. This class's activities reinforced and added dimension, practice, to those research and methodological skills. The video that we have shared here conveys insights about the mobility and transferability across classroom activities and into beyond the class scenarios of student work with a canon of memory. Thinking deeply about this concept in the students' estimations allowed them to gain competency and skill in multimodal communication. Such skills, the students believed, would continue to come into play in future writing instances. Because our curriculum is rooted deeply in industry aptitudes and habits of mind, we believe these two portfolios from the pilot course indicate the strength students derive from a multidimensional focus on memory, as reflecting on this concept helps them to concretize their learning, consider its suitability to multimodal communication, and understand how TPC communication is necessarily connected to its meanings and applications.